All right, hello and welcome to the demo for Hook, Line, and Sniper. This may not quite like fill up the screen. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. It just, you know, I have to kind of deal with uh, what I'm provided with uh, the magic of uh, Streamlabs and, um, you know, I just can, uh, I do what I can, you know? This is going to be one of those games that I can kind of, well, demos, I should say. It is going to be one of those demos that I get to, like, kind of play for uh, just a little bit of time before I kind of uh, reach a point to where it, you know, I, I feel like I've kind of done it, uh, shown everything there is to show. And that's not even, like, really necessarily the truth of the matter, but uh, this is, from what I can tell, uh, kind of like what the game is going to consist of. I mean, this is certainly what the demo consists of, and I will say it's pretty fun. Uh, there's a couple of games, uh, demos uh, recently that have a little bit of a like, similar nature where you are something traditionally eaten by fish or other things and you kill birds and other things, you know, which I totally understand. Everybody misses dinosaurs. They're all disappointed with... Uh, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, so, you know, people want something that makes them feel like, uh, you know, I don't know, Fisher Friends, I guess. So there you go, that's, um, that's it. Well, no, it's not, because uh, we can go to the next level. I don't know what that means. It means there's another level, so guess what? Good news, everybody, the demo is not over. I'll say the um, the gameplay loop of um, you know using our hook to kind of like Spider-Man our way over uh, to the birds is pretty fun, and the uh, combat's pretty good too. I don't, I really don't know that like combat is is the right term because it's like shooting fish in a barrel, which obviously seems like a heretical thing to say considering we are a fish and we are shooting birds uh, or as I like to refer to them as the uh, killers of dinosaurs and apparently there's um lightning that's what that is okay I wonder if like at some point we get to like become a shark and that'd be cool. And then I wonder if we can combine our bodies with that of a uh, snake and create ourselves a snark. Um, could be like a snark. I don't know. And I did not mean to get struck by lightning, but glad to see that our um, fish uh, recovers quite well from lightning blasts. Just like a real life um, Sakakajawea. I, I, I don't actually, I don't actually know. Uh, American history is really weird to kind of keep track of. So I just remember some things that are important, like, you know, some places are um, dangerous because they have caves that people go disappearing in. And, um,
All right, well, I got stuck in the... The water. Come on. Ah. You know, I don't really feel like you get like it, like it matters that much. Uh, it almost feels like the hook line and like the hook is um, just as good. Eh, actually, I'm wrong. Now, I, I'm hoping that the, um, the only point of, I'm hoping that there's more to it than, you know, just trying to get the points to go to the next level. Because even though the gameplay element is, uh, pretty entertaining, the, um, the whole experience would get kind of old if, you know, progression is attached to, um, performing at a certain level. I don't know. I've just never been a fan of that. I would much rather see uh, some kind of progression attached to it. Um, being that, like, you know, as we play and we unlock uh, points, we get, like, new weapons or something. That's something that would make it more interesting to me, but... But hey, look at that. We, we got to go to the next level. No, we don't get to go to the next level because I need 200 more points. Ridiculous, man. At least I got the points that I need. how short the levels are that's that's gonna be something that I think is um well I mean I guess a highlight for me uh, the level progression that part I'm not a fan of I mean like I just I don't know I, I prefer something more than just score you know like uh, if it's you know I need to um, collect a certain amount of things uh, I'm a little bit less likely to dislike it, but I will still dislike it if it's that case. So, um, you know, I just look at it this way. If I have finished a level, it doesn't matter, you know, like if I did a good job or a bad job. The important thing is I did it. Like, I, I think of it this way, you know, like in life, um, you know, it didn't matter like how good I did my job. I wasn't going to get a promotion uh, because, you know, I didn't do whatever it is people wanted and, you know, sell cakes at the bake sales or whatever. Um, is it, did it just take me to like an X level? Uh, I guess. But anyway, my, my point is, um, when it comes to games in general, uh, I just, you know, I, I just want to have fun and, um, you know, just do stuff and then, you know, feel like I'm making progress. And uh, when a game is, well, for all intents and purposes, locked behind um, your capabilities, it just feels like, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't feel good. And I know there's a lot of games that, that have it. You got your, you know, RPG systems, like in RPGs where, uh, you know, you have to progress to a certain point to, um, to really kind of 
make any progress in, in certain ways, otherwise you get you get your butt kicked by uh, the enemy boss and stuff. That at least makes like a little bit more sense because I haven't completed anything, you know? I'm, I'm working to get to uh, a specific area. But in this, it's like I'm... I, um, I'm, I'm killing birds, I'm being a fish, doing what fish do, and, um, the game's telling me that I just, I have to repeat the process and do the same thing before I can move forward, which just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really work for me because, uh, you're not giving me much of a different experience. Every level so far has essentially been the same mechanics, it's, you know, it's fun, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I definitely feel the important to reiterate the fact that I that I think this is an entertaining uh, game. It's very cool the way that all this works. But at the same time, again, it's just this whole process of like... Like, I, I didn't even get enough. I need like 27,000 to move forward, I think. Um, but this process of moving forward just sucks. Ah, next challenge, score sec 27,000 points, blah, blah, blah. Ah, okay, we can move over. All right, we got a shotgun. Oh, disregard. It is not a shotgun, it is um something else. I don't see why I would use this. This gun's not not that great. Immune, all right. Krill count. Like, I'm not killing any krill. I'm not a krill. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm a fish. Slightly confused, but we um, get to go to another level, I think. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Is there another level? Uh, 25,000 uh, points. To the next level. All right. It's gonna be very important to kind of do that so I don't spend too much time doing like the same stuff.
Well, 30,000, I think, is a very admirable, admirable score. Oh, I got, I'm, I've almost got the S for spectacular. Alright, so this uh, actually has gone on a little bit longer than I thought. I'm actually really surprised because I thought for sure I was uh, kind of like at the end of um, the experience. Oh, we have another level unlocked, which is kind of weird because I don't really see the point in um, having more levels. Eh, but. But. Uh, okay. That's not really a fun weapon at all, uh, on account of how slow it is. I mean, I guess it's cool that it does a lot of damage, but that's like the only benefit it has. But it doesn't... Yeah, I... I just... I don't think I understand why I would use that when the sniper rifle, uh, and even the other gun, it's, uh, much better than the new gun. So, definitely a little bit on the disappointed side for the new weapon. I, I feel like maybe, like, a machine gun, or, I don't know, I would even have taken, like, a, like a, a waffle iron. Uh, I, then this lightning plasma gun thing. It just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't seem great, so I'm not going to use it. Um, I, I feel like I, I feel like I've played enough of this to, um, kind of move on with my night. I do like the general idea of it, like the arcade portion aspects of it are really, really well made. Um, I can see how this would be something that would be pretty fun to play. Um, you know, but, you know, with it being a demo, I, I, I don't really know that there's, um, I don't know that there's enough in the actual demo to make me want to keep playing. I don't like this third weapon that I got. Like, I the general level design seems to be exactly the same every level. Um, so, you know, it just doesn't feel like there's a whole lot going on. Uh, but, you know, like, I, I, I'll i push through, I guess. We only need, what, 20,000 points, I think it said, to... Um, uh, check out the next level, so... That's uh, definitely a doable thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, why would I use the, uh, you know, this, uh, s I don't know, this plasma rifle or whatever it is. It just doesn't feel worth it. It would make more sense, I think, if they were, like, enemies that, um... I think, uh, felt like they actually needed to be killed in that manner, but they don't. Like, everything can be killed, I would say, just as well, if not better, with, uh, the other two weapons we have at our disposal. So, I think what, basically, what I'm trying to say is, I think the weapon, weapon balancing just... could be better, uh, because what we're getting is just very little incentive to, uh, play with other weapons. But maybe that's the point, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe they don't want us to use anything other, uh, about it. Like, it would explain the title of the game, I think, so. And I did get enough points to, uh, move on to the next, uh, level, which is, uh, good news for us.
meeting me and you, the viewer, because now we get to, like, see what's next, you know? Like, I get to check the next level, which I'm sure is going to be basically the same thing with a slight graphical difference. Um... I guess we'll see. Uh-huh. I'm not really concerned with the challenges. And um, it's another of the same weapon. And... Um, and nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, well... Uh, can we exit the level and, and, and see what happens? Okay, because I I'm slightly confused here. Cause it looks like we can make it into another level. Um obviously. I came over here. Um, but there's nothing here. And it's just like the same gun. So I guess it's like um I don't know, an opportunity to be like, oh look at Look at the cool wave physics, I guess. All right, well, I guess that's it. I guess, I guess we're done. Um, eh, it's fun. Like, it, it, like I'm not gonna lie, it, it is an enjoyable time. Um, I do recommend giving it a shot and see what you feel. Uh, it's a little too samey for me, I guess. I don't know. It just, it just feels kind of the same. Not real super impressed with the weapons. But I really like the animations of, of the birds and the fish itself, or little goldfish who actually doesn't have animations, I guess. But, um, I don't know, the, they look nice and the guns are fun. Except for that third one, really just the sniper rifle and this cannonball thing uh, are the only ones that I like. Uh, that plasma pistol just feels like a waste of time. Music is pretty decent, like it's not anything super um, addictive or catchy, but... Um, that's okay. I like it. That's the important part. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. There's not really much point in continuing on. Um, give the game a shot. See where you feel, see how you feel. If you like it, wish listed. Blah 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 blah. You know the usual stuff that I always say. Uh, unless this is your first time watching, in which case I hardly ever say blah 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 uh, and make assumptions about whether or not you've watched it. So the end.